When I was coming here many years ago to enjoy the shows at Radio City Music Hall, we used to go next door right after the show uh, to NBC over in Rockefeller Center where they had a lot of radio shows that were on. Mystery shows were always big on the radio back in those days, and there were a lot of them. Uh, the Shadow, Bulldog Drummond, Nick and Nora Charles, Dick Tracy, and Jack, Doc, and Reggie on I Love a Mystery. Tony Randall was the kid on that show. And I thought of that every time I saw Felix Unger years later. Many of those great radio detectives started out in the movies, or they wound up in the movies. Uh, the most popular and most often played detective was Sherlock Holmes, who said that many times. Basil Rathbone and Nigel Bruce played Holmes and Watson in the movies during the war and on the radio for many, many years. But they weren't the only ones to play the master detective and his Boswell. WENN has its own show built around Holmes and Watson, and today their crime-solving abilities are really put to the test when a dangerous criminal calls on the cast of armchair detectives. Will the actors be able to live up to their fictional counterparts? Who killed millionaire Carlton Killian? Don't touch that dial. We are about to find out the truth on Remember When. <laughs> 